Welcome back to the ninth episode of the Chaos Profile. In the previous episode, I ended things off with the worst combination of modifiers I've experienced thus far, and I'm starting to run out of options for progression. That was until I made this absurd comment. I'll only spend five times if someone gifts five subs. Yeah, that's what that's what we'll do. I'll give you. I'll, I'll start selling out and incentivize with money. Sounds sounds like a good plan. Now I had totally forgotten that I said this, but just under half an hour later, this is what ended up happening. Yeah. Um. Nah. 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 <laughs> I actually did it. <laughs> nah. Nah. Why? That actually might save me, bro. It could be really good or really bad. Let's. Let's let's do the thing. Alright, let's see. Okay, I could use Silky if I want to. I mean, sure, that's not gonna really help me right now, but Okay, second one. Second one, second one. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh my god, okay! Now I just need to get rid of the fucking Iron Man! I have to delete Iron Man now! Please, 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 please get rid of Iron Man! Please get rid of Iron Man! Get rid of Iron Man! No! 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 What is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind! Help me, bro. That's three. Why would you do that, bro? Yes, 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 yes. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's good. We got, like, <laughs> we got the auction house back, boys. We got the auction house back. Okay, okay, okay. Please remove one modifier. Please remove one, one. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's useless, that's useless. That does not work. That does not work. Okay, great, great. I'm not Iron Man, guys. I'm not Iron Man. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I'm not Iron Man anymore. Let's let's do some auction flipping. Let's do some auction flipping, guys. Yeah. I can't wait for everything that I bid on to get outbid by someone in chat. I'm thrilled right now. After that absolute roller coaster of emotions, I decided to give auction flipping a little bit of a try. I didn't expect anything to come out of this though, and I was just bidding on stuff, mostly out of celebration for no longer being locked to Iron Man. Out of the three items I ended up bidding on, I actually won two of them. A travel scroll to the top of the spider's nest, and a stack of toxic arrow poison for under the NPC price. I profited a quick 7,000 coins from this, and I consumed the travel scroll since it didn't really have much resale value. But now that I was done wasting time, and I had cooled off from the insanity of the previous five spins, it was time to finally get back to tackling that tier 2 revenant horror boss. Alright, I'm gonna go try and attempt Crypt Ghouls. Because 204 kills is not happening. And I think I am cool enough to do it now. Or I might just get one shot. And if that happens, then so be it. It was a funny death. Oh my god, they hit like a truck! Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes! I have my backpacks back! I have my backpacks back! I'll take it, bro! I'll take it! So if you're new here and wondering why I got so excited over landing on Backpacks Disabled, it's because this modifier was already active on my gameplay due to me landing on it in the previous episode. All ongoing profile modifiers have a chance to be disabled if I land on it a second time while the modifier is actually active. As a result, this means that I no longer have to deal with no backpacks and I could actually use them again. Jesus Christ. I mean, I can't really do anything with them at the moment anyways. I gotta kill this Rev Horror too. I gotta kill Rev Horror. Kill Lapis Zombie? That's a good idea. How many- how much XP do these guys give? These do not give any XP, bro. Try Diamond Boys? Yeah, I guess. How much are they giving me? Barely anything. Why am I here? The Crypt Ghouls are better. I've got 60 kills. Actually, wait, no, this isn't too bad. They just don't spawn. Ooh, Combat 9. <gasps> combat 10 is a spin, you know. Okay, 58. I'll get to 59, and then I'm gonna go back to the hub. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. Watch. Watch this, guys. Can I bow it down? I don't think I can. My game's frozen! My game's frozen! What? Okay. Wait, he does, like, no damage. What the hell? Why does he do, like, zero damage? I was taking more damage to the- to the minor zombies, bro! Wait, what? I can actually kill this thing? I'm actually a beast. I'm actually a beast. This thing, he did like zero damage. I literally have no armor. I have no armor. And it didn't kill me, bro. Can I collect it? Yay, I got plus two health. OMG. What are my, what are my odds today? Let's see, come on, give me Iron Man. 
Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. 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 I can claim my minions. I can claim my minions. Let's go claim the minions. Let's go claim the minions, bro. No, wait, no. I can get one more minion slice. That's so cool, guys. Is that so cool? I can get one more minion slot. Look. It has two minutes. Bruh. It's got two minutes left. Okay, let's just hope that I don't spin that again in the next two minutes. And now that I had successfully defeated a tier two Revenant Horror, the next step was to try the Tarantula boss. After all, I still had some pretty bad modifiers I was trying to get rid of, and if I could get a quick and easy kill as my first tier one Tarantula Broodfather, this could potentially change my gameplay entirely. Okay, let's fight. How much health you got? 750, you got one shot. You're not even, oh, I have to spin now. Please, just give me, like, remove one modifier or something. Please, 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 please. Oh, <gasps> no way. Wait, 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 wait. Is that it? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. It's back. The bazaar is back. The bazaar is back. And I'm not Iron Man. The bazaar is back. The bazaar is back, bro. Finally, after all this time, I can finally use the bazaar. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! I'm so happy! I'm so happy I can claim these stupid feather falling sixes that I bought, bro. It's time to make money! It's time to make so much money, bro! It's time to make so much money! I need to abuse this as much as I can, bro. After all this time, it had finally been done. This absolute hellhole of a modifier was finally gone, and it was about time I made some major progress on this profile. I spun this modifier a whole three episodes ago, and thanks to this and one item rarity, it completely wiped out almost all options I had to progress with. But now the bazaar was back, I wasn't an Iron Man, and I had my backpacks enabled, it was time to make a ton of money with some devious bazaar flipping tricks I had up my sleeve. Okay, let's, let's take a breather, let's take a breather, let's go, let's go to Maddox real quick, and just, and just like, Tara, Tara boss claim, Tarantulas saved my life, bro, Slayers sl saved my life, dude, oh my god, bro, finally, yes, okay, sick, sick, okay, now I just gotta not make any crazy progression moves and just make a fat ton of cash because I need upgrades desperately right now. And now was finally the time to begin with my master plan to get super rich super quickly. Now you may be wondering, what were my tricks? What could be so special about this master plan? And you see, I could make a nice montage or a quick guide to flip 16 coins into 25,000 coins, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to leave my super secret tactics between my Twitch viewers and myself. If you are really hoping to get some easy money-making tips from this video, then I'm afraid you're going to have to follow me on Twitch and watch these episodes live, because I don't plan on including them in any future Chaos Profile videos. Nonetheless, I spent the next half an hour flipping and flipping until I reached a solid 650,000 odd coins, which I then used to set buy orders on Unstable Dragon Fragments, since crafting the pieces were cheaper than just buying them on the auction house. I picked Unstable Dragon Armor as my upgrade of choice because its damage is extremely good, it's super cheap to get, and it's a dragon set, meaning it totally bypasses the Dragon Armor only modifier on the wheel. I also crafted a new Redstone minion since I claimed my minion slot profile upgrade in the community shop, and then I finished things off by unlocking a few more random unique minions. I figured that now the bazaar was back and I had a ton of spare cash lying around, I'd finish off the last few unique minions I could get and move on to a new goal in the next episode. Roughly. Santia tier 9, dude. Holy. I'm almost at my 13th minion slot. The 13th minion slot wasn't going to be anytime soon, though. As for now, the journey to collect minion slots is being put on hold. I now have 12 redstone minions slaving away on the island and generating that sweet, sweet redstone collection, as well as the fact that my accessory bag is now at a respectable size. Now, the next goal with this profile is to reach Combat 16 and gain access to my newly acquired Unstable Dragon Armor, but that's a task for a future episode.